Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. The fishing industry on the coast of the state of Maine is embroiled these days in a dispute that fishermen there say threatens their livelihood. Why, you might wonder, would a retired newspaper editor in Toledo, Ohio, namely me, take an interest in a squabble that's a thousand miles away, especially since I'm not a fan of seafood? Fair question. Here's some perspective. For many years in the 1970s and 1980s, I was editor of the Monterey Peninsula Herald on California's central coast. At the time, the Herald was owned by Block Communications, Inc., which still publishes The Blade. I watched with excitement during my Monterey years as the Monterey Bay Aquarium was being built on the city's historic Cannery Row, and I became an enthusiastic fan of this marvelous facility when it opened in 1984. I remain a fan today. Exhibiting creatures captured principally from the vast and deep Monterey Bay Canyon and exhibiting them humanely and furthering our understanding of the oceans as part of the institution's ongoing educational programs, the Monterey Bay Aquarium has built a reputation for excellence. It is so much more than fish in tanks. I also have a great appreciation for Maine's symbiotic ties to the sea and the resolute toughness of those who make a living from it. So it is distressing to learn of the environmental dispute between the aquarium and Maine lobstermen, a dispute that stands as a serious threat to the Maine lobster industry and towns up and down the coast that depend on it. The issue is the fate and future of the North Atlantic right whale, an animal that can grow to more than 50 feet in length and weigh 90 tons. Its numbers are diminishing in the North Atlantic. The perceived danger to the whales is not just ship strikes, but entanglement in lobstermen's lines and gear. Maine lobstermen insist that the majority of right whale deaths have been the result of vessel strikes in Canadian waters, not U.S. Clearly, the Monterey Bay Aquarium sees the threat differently. The aquarium's seafood watch program has placed Maine lobster on its so-called red list, a move which advises consumers to avoid eating lobster caught in the Maine fishery. That is a potentially devastating blow to thousands of jobs and businesses, and one wonders if it is premature and even necessary. Is the industry's distress simply circle the wagon's hometown protectionism by the lobstermen's lobby? Perhaps, but not without good cause. Concerns about seafood sustainability around the world are valid and deserve to be addressed. So do legitimate threats to species that swim the oceans in dwindling numbers. If there's more that can affordably be done by the lobster industry to balance both issues, such practices should be identified and implemented. And for its part, the Monterey Bay Aquarium's Seafood Watch Initiative should stand ready to reverse itself at the earliest opportunity. Saving the whales and saving the Maine lobster economy do not have to be mutually exclusive endeavors. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org slash life.